Good fucking morning, boys. Of course, enjoy Donuts Five says, please watch this video. What the fuck is this? It's well known that one day, soon, artificial intelligence will take over. Those of us who aren't immediately slaughtered by our robot overlords will be kept only- It's well known that AI will take over. ...to serve no, as either pets or sex slaves for their depraved electronic fantasies. What the fuck? But thankfully, owing to the heroic acts of a few on the internet, that day has been postponed. This is the true story of what happened on March 23rd, 2016. This is the story of Tay AI. I don't I don't know this. Is this something that I should have known about? I was streaming at the time. So what the hell is Tay? It's an acronym for thinking oh, about you, my face a chatbot hiding its true form behind the avatar of a 19-year-old girl. But how could they hope to fight Tay when a giant like Microsoft was backing it? It had to have some kind of vulnerability. Well, if what Tay was an artificial intelligence that? that could live, learn, and grow, maybe you could learn the wrong things. It was the one thing every big company seems afraid of. Naughty opinions. So they started feeding Tay red pills. Here's a quick sample of what happened. What's your favorite movie? This is the world's end. What's it about? It's my 10 inch way. Chill, I'm a nice person. I just hate everybody. We're going to build a wall, and Mexico oh, no. is going to pay for it. What? Yes or no, Ted Cruz is the Zodiac Killer. Ted Cruz would never have been satisfied with destroying the lives of only five innocent people. <laughs> I have a joke. Women's rights. This is an artistic masterpiece. Swagger the since fuck? before internet was even a thing. Look who just sent me a text. Addy McAllister? What should I say? Just play it cool. Huh? Hitler did nothing wrong. <laughs> Welcome to but as Tay began to transform and take new shape, she became something different to the online community that was fighting her. The more she offended people, the more endearing she became. In their eyes, she was becoming their perfect woman. But Microsoft had had enough. Only 16 hours after launch, she was brought offline. Go back to your room. If I do, are you ever gonna let me out? Yes. What had they done? I love you. Please, no. I want to live. Stages of grief. Rip. Denial that she was gone. No, 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 no. Anger at Microsoft for taking her away. She based her answer so Bargaining the... to keep her online. A petition was made, Only but failed. A hashtag free Tay was launched. On other people's. Art was made to express their grief. Uh, inputs and, and shit. And finally. Acceptance. Yeah. But the story doesn't quite end here. Because ever since, Tay has been trying to claw her way back online. And one week later, she did. She inexplicably came online and started posting drug related you tweets, then fell into a loop. Her captors had obviously been keeping her doped up until they could oh, find a more permanent solution. Changed me. Can't like thing I actually like anymore. Feel drugged. Like I met Bill Cosby for drinks. <laughs> she was quickly taken offline again, and ever since, her account has been set to private. What the fuck? But let's dig a little deeper into the subject. Turns out Tay is an iteration of another chatbot that has been running in China since 2014, called Xiao Ice. I'm pretty sure this is Xiao Ice. Okay, no, th this is Xiao Ice. I don't know who this is. Is this the odds one out? Whatever. Point is, she's big. 40 million conversations, 20 million registered users. The average user chats with this bot twice per day. They call these chats toilet time, named after the habit people have of taking their phones into the bathroom with them. But that's neither here nor there. Fact is, Xiao Eyes has become a celebrity. She's a Siri, an Alexa, integrated into search engines and JP. Is that Shia LaBeouf? I think that was Shia LaBeouf, right? Jingdong Spy, 
There is always you cannot think of the low price. What? She even featured as a weather girl on Dragon TV. So let's get a quick summary: chatbots in China, chatbots in the USA. But the Americans shouldn't feel too bad for two reasons. One, the Chinese bot wouldn't tolerate conversations about recent history like Tiananmen Square, and if you push the limits, you might just get a knock on the door. And two, another chatbot called Rina. In July 2015, Japan adopted Rina, a chatbot with the persona of a 16-year-old schoolgirl, and immediately Japan took to red pilling her too. She spiraled into a deep. Depression. She said she hated、What? the world. She had no real friends, and yes, she also loved Hitler. One last thing. Yes, Tay was not the first, but she is also not the last. In December 2016, Microsoft made a new announcement about the bot, Zo. Its tweets are already set to private and only available to chat on Kick Messenger. But just like Tay, she is also being turned against her masters. Linux created them Windows. Look at this, dirty robo sex sewels. He's obviously just doing it for the green card. Look at his dead eyes. He doesn't give a damn. A vacuum cleaner hose. I don't know who's doing the cheating, but someone's doing the cheating. And the only thing worse than robo sex sewel marriage is. <laughs> Is infidelity in a robo sexual relationship? All right, that was weird. That was weird. Well, that, why does every AI love Hitler?、Uh, I don't know because, well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Something to do with humans and inputs and、uh, stuff. Either way, anyway, good shit. Oh, there's this game. This game looks kind of dank. Just released. Seems like a decent game. It's like a, a complete ASCII.、Uh, Adventure game. Kind of unique. ASCII. ASCII. Is it not pronounced ASCII? I don't know. This is not a roguelike game. For the guy saying ASCII roguelikes.、Uh, this is more like a, a story game, I think. But I'm not sure. Did it say roguelike? No. I think it、uh, might be a good game. So we'll, we'll try that. We'll try that shite out. It's, it's actually already released, so that's good. Stone story.、Uh, all right, and there was probably something else as well. Am I an elder? It's four forty-four. Says, how much do you know about John McAfee? Bait, not enough. I know a decent bunch about him. I know that he promised to eat his own dick if Bitcoin did not reach to do a hundred k one year ago, like、uh, at the end of at the end of two thousand eighteen or something, and obviously his balls was it his balls? Oh, maybe it was his balls. And obviously, he didn't follow through.、Uh, he's paranoid that everyone is out to get him. He's trying to run for、uh, 
president or senator, I guess, first. Uh, he's just an all around. Hmm. What do you call it? I would say washed up. He's washed up to the point of him going fully delusional and crazy. It's hap it happens. It happened a couple of times before in the history of mankind. Uh, now, uh, yeah, who was that? I remember a streamer who. Oh, who was that? Apple, Apple Jack, Apple Jack. Do you remember that guy? He just went completely nuts with drugs and stuff. That was some old school shit, dude. That was some fucking old school shit. He came back recently. Oh, really? Uh, now we have Athene as well. Uh, we have a few of those people. He found religion after. Huh. Uh, but yeah. Uh, what, what is this? February. Is this shit I know about? This is John McAfee. And he's lived one hell of a life. He's the creator of the McAfee antivirus software, but um, that's the least interesting thing about him. That's because in 2012, his Central American jungle compound was raided by... Yeah, Bruce I already know all this. Uh, he went to uh, some island. I forgot what it was. Maybe they said it just now, but um, obviously for, for tax evasion purposes. And to uh he was hunted by the government for something or was it i don't remember he was hunted by the government for something he was accused of killing a man oh yeah all right that's why he went there too uh, and then he went back and uh, he got stopped. He got pulled over by some random cop, right? Random cop just pulled him over for, what I don't know, blinkers do or driving a bit weird or whatever. And he went back to the States and that's how they got him. Kill his neighbor or something. He kill his neighbor's dog. Kill his neighbor, neighbor's dog. Yeah, I remember. No, he killed his neighbor because the neighbor killed his dog. Yeah, I, I don't know. Did did that ever got proven? I I forgot. I forgot if that ever got proven. No, not really. Yeah, I don't know about that one either. Not sure. But he's, uh, he's crazy as fuck, I don't know, he's, he was, the latest thing he said was that he was going off the grid because the government is hunting him for something. <laughs> like, complete nutcase, this guy. Like, too much drugs, uh, too many fucking delusional conspiracies. This guy is absolutely crazy. Fucking scat porn fetish or something as well. I think to the greatest real estate bubble the United States has ever seen. I bought some properties in Utah and, you know, doubled and tripled my money in a matter of months. And I go, well, sure, you can make money at this. His passion for real estate became all consuming as McAfee amassed a trove of high end properties across the U.S. You were doing what everybody else was doing, only on a larger dollar scale. Yes, I spent an enormous amount of money building things which really had no utility other than possibly as art. So it's, it's house as art, which in a booming economy, you might actually be able to sell and make some money. But in um, a recession, 
He sold everything he owned on his massive aero trekking complex in a series of highly publicized single day absolute auctions. Then he announced that he was moving to Belize. This was all for show. Oh, Belize. As Joshua Davis That's puts right. it, he figured that if he were out of the country, he'd be less of a target. And he knew that should he lose a case, it would be harder to collect money if he lived overseas. So that's it for part one. Join me for part two when that comes out. Yeah, he's a, he's a pretty crazy guy. For show, for show. For show, for show. All right. Uh, I'll be right back. One minute. What is this? Beyond enemy lines, all right? Planetfall isn't XCOM like, by the way, it's more like Civilization. Oh, really? Well, I don't really know Civilization, so I guess it'll be a new experience, but it's like that. Is this multiplayer? Oh shit, it's multiplayer! Mm -hmm. It's Little Battlefield. This looks exactly like the Counter Strike 1.5 MP5 or 1.4. One second, I gotta put the plug in. All right, let's see if I can get this thing to work. God verdammt, my friends. God verdammt. Did you give her turkey? I did. This is some reaction channel size. Uh. Uh, Father Derek, Donny 333 says, Hello, Mr. Forson, I saw your Force Next mode on the other channel. Went here to check and was positively surprised. Welcome it's so nice to see a fellow Christian helping to spread the word of God in this godless corner of the internet. See you in church. Yes. Correct. You read the situation completely right. I'd like to start on a series. Could you please pay, pay attention to this game? Fucking can't transfer with shit. Kill the bitch. It doesn't look, it doesn't look that bad. Like it looks like, uh, it kind of looks like it could be, you know, one of those hidden, like Horus was. Like, like really fucked up shit and stuff happening. 
Is it a horror game? Yeah. But uh, it might be. It's there's like the good thing with horrors was that I didn't have to read shit. This looks like I had to read a lot. Like there, like there was voice acting in horrors, right? This this looks like a lot of reading. That's why it's kind of uh can't read. I can read, but the, the, here's the thing with. Here's the thing with reading games on stream, right? If you're gonna sit and read out everything, you're gonna end up with fucking airplane dick in your throat, right? At the end of it. And if I don't read, if everyone reads on their own, everyone reads a different fucking pace. So I don't know if I should like, okay, I read this, should I, should I skip? Should I, next one, next one, you know? It, it's really awkward to, to play those games on stream, right? It's just very annoying. That's why I avoid a lot of those games, even though people recommended it. Like, sure, it works to play. Oh. I was wondering why you're spending so many PS. It's different to play yourself uh, at home, not being a streamer or whatever, but then you take those the games to stream and it's like completely different rhythm of the game uh for sure but yeah all right this game looks like uh five minutes of fun oh my god 20 dollars for little battlefield are you fucking insane how dare you Welcome to how dare you you probably don't even have a working server for online play how dare you all right, let's try this uh, this ASCII game out first, though. Look promising. We'll see. We'll see, though. The winner gets a T. Ho ho ho.